Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your reading. This is going to be for Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate for you guys, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading. It may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we're going to get into your current energy, the near future, and then we're going to take a peek into the next three to six months. Once we clarify that spread, I'm going to clear it, look into your person's energy, your energy, whoever's on your mind. Um, the Romance Angels, as well as the Oracle cards and a possible outcome for that situation. Okay, so thank you to everybody who's returning. I so appreciate all of your likes, shares, comments, subscribes, and your support in general. And if you're new, I hope you'll stay. I do do personal readings. That information is in the description box below. All right, so let's get into your energy. This is for Sag. Let's see, that one wants to come out. Okay. So in your current energy, we have oof, the Ten of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Emperor in Reverse. The near future, we have the King of Wands in Reverse, the Page of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. Now in the next three to six months, we have the Three of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, and then the Four of Pentacles. Your overall energy is the Page of Swords. There's a couple things I'm feeling from this. First, if you haven't heard from somebody in a while, it seems like they're holding back. You could be dealing with somebody who doesn't know how to tell the truth. And in this case, I'm gonna say, if you're questioning whether that person has been honest with you, I'm gonna say there's something that's not true. You may have just recently found something out, um, realized that they lied because I see the 10 of swords as the first card. So it could have been hurtful. It doesn't have to necessarily be a romantic situation. It could be even a friend or someone that you work with that's a little either a little bit younger or just has a very immature energy. But I do feel like this person um, tends to, this came up in another reading. It's like they tell little white lies, but they don't realize just how hurtful it can be. So they could have told something very personal about you. That could be for one or two of you. Let's see what's going on. Now, the Ten of Swords. To me, this is really being done. Something for you is complete. You feel as though you've been stabbed over and over again and you're shutting this out. With the Queen of Pentacles in the middle of that and the Emperor, I feel like you're sort of releasing it to the universe. Like, I'm done trying to take charge in these situations or be the, the one who always keeps things together. It's like, this hurts too much. It's too painful. I want to release this from my life. Your energy is very stable, so it feels good. This could be coming up for you in the next couple of weeks where you're just like, I, I let it go. Like, I have no desire. The emperor in reverse also could be that you were dealing with somebody who was controlling or had a controlling kind of overbearing nature and you got tired of that. It does feel, it's a combination. I'm picking up on two different energies. So there might have been let's say this as if it were, it had happened. If you started a new relationship and this was someone you were just getting to know, there may have been some real realizations just recently. So something came up, this person was telling some kind of lies or they said something that was very hurtful and I just don't think you have time for it. So like I said, that could be for a couple of you. In general, to me, this feels very much like releasing any kind of burdens, not concerning yourself with it to the point where it affects you emotionally or physically. Now, in the near future, we have the King of Wands in reverse with the Page of Cups and the Eight of Wands. Things feel very slow. If you're in a relationship, this feels like, okay, is this gonna get moving? There doesn't seem to be a lot of communication. I actually sense one or the other of you has cut the communication off. Somebody's just not ready. Uh, to be in a serious, full-on relationship. With the Page of Cups in the middle, that tells me, yes, you're ready to possibly start something, but you don't want something that is overbearing or that has so much, um, like you don't wanna have to invest so much that it takes over your life. So it feels like wanting to just have something that's kind of simple and maybe a little bit lighthearted. And that feels very strongly like your energy. You don't really wanna move fast in something. You're kind of holding back, male or female, and not wanting to connect too much on a deep level. All right, so 
in the next three to six months, we have the Three of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups in reverse, and the Four of Pentacles. So this tells me that you're, again, you're holding back your energy. This could also involve needing to save a little bit of money. Now, if you were dealing with someone that had you in a third party situation, I sense that you're walking away from it. There's an idea that this person was breadcrumbing, didn't give to the relationship, held back. I, I Yeah, it feels very strongly like that. So I feel like you're leaving an emotional burden of that type of situation in the past and want something a little bit more lighthearted right now. All right, let's get some clarifiers for the Ten of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. <clears throat> All right, so we have the Three of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles both in reverse and then the King of Pentacles. So. This feels like somebody else's energy, I'm just gonna say that. There is someone in your life, could be a Taurus, who's very stable. Um, they're there for you. They wanna be there for you. They're very strong, methodical, grounded, just supportive is what it feels like. So as we look at the rest of the current energy, right now I think you're in a position where you don't know what's coming just yet. You may be a little bit concerned about money, but I'd say that you're probably not gonna have to worry about that because this person is someone who's very, they, they like to support, they may not be very upfront about it, but they're very strong and will be there for you if you need them to be. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so let's clarify the King of Wands and the Page of Cups. We have the Queen of Wands in reverse, and then the Eight of Wands. We're th again, that's a clarifier twice now with the Eight of Wands in reverse. So the Nine of Swords, something has got you in your head or a little bit stressed out. With the Queen of Wands, you, you may not be feeling like yourself right now. And again, the Eight of Wands in reverse just tells me things are moving slowly. Um, there's a need to get back to you again. In other words, feeling good about yourself, put some energy into you, get that fire back that you want to. Now, if you're dealing with a love situation and you're not invested, in other words, you're not in a deep relationship, this could be, again, just not feeling like you're ready to get out there and date. It could just be holding back and waiting till the right time and then starting something slow. But, you know, yes, being interested in wanting something new, just not wanting to either move too quickly or waiting until you feel like you're back into a place where you feel good about yourself. All right, the Three of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups in reverse. I'm getting a lot of different scenarios. So today, guys, this is not just cut and dry. It's gonna be for a couple different people. Take what resonates and leave the rest. All right, we have the Strength card and then we have the Moon. So in the next three to six months, the Page of Wands, this is like wanting to get the passion to get going. So there's a need to really go within. The strength card tells me you need to find your strength. You don't see everything yet. Like things have not been revealed to you. So you may be questioning um, where things are headed. But, okay, two different scenarios. If you're in a situation where you just are interested in being open to dating, this is going to be regaining your strength and feeling good about yourself and opening back up. With the moon in reverse, that just tells me you're holding back. You don't want to really be exposed right now. This full moon could shift that energy for you. Now, had you been dealing with someone in the past that you walked away from, this energy is popping up in the next three to six months because there's a restorative energy. So you're needing to regain your strength. Maybe things had come to light to you before and now you're regaining, especially if that were a third party situation. Now there's also some contractual things that are coming up for me in this. If you're having to walk away from a job, you may feel like you need to be careful and save your money within the next couple of months. So that's really clear. You just, again, are not sure how that's gonna work out. All right, now we're gonna get specifically into your person's energy and your energy. So let's check into that. Think about whoever is on your mind. 
Sorry guys, the trash truck <laughs> is pulling by. I apologize for the loud noise. It'll pass in a minute. All right, so this is for Sagittarius's person and their energy, please. This is for Sag. All right. So your person is the Queen of Cups. We've got the Four of Wands, the Nine of Cups in reverse, and the Devil in reverse. Then we have the Four Swords in reverse for you, the Sun in reverse, Queen of Swords, and the Justice card. The overall energy for the two of you, the Moon in reverse, is coming back. So you may just feel like right now you don't want to reveal too much. That's what it feels like. A need to sort of rebalance yourself. Yeah, maybe you'll date or you just want something lighthearted if you are the one that's single. If you're in an actual relationship right now, th this person loves you very much. And maybe there's a question about where things are going to go moving forward. But they're open and willing and want to be in a relationship. They very much see you as someone that they're going to be with long term. You could feel like this is a twin flame connection. This is very much a soulmate connection. Now, there may be a sense that things are a little bit out of balance. Um, maybe they're disappointed because if, if this didn't work out and this is someone from your past, this is someone who's just a little bit of disappointed. But right now, I feel like they're coming out of whatever issues they may have had. So if you had dealt with toxicity with this person, they're actually shifting. They're changing. And I don't say that a lot about people because a lot of times people are who they are and there isn't a whole lot of change that happens. But this particular person, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, a Leo, Sagittarius, uh, Aries, or Leo again. And then I'm also picking up on Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. And then we have another Pisces. So it's very strong Pisces. All right. So this person definitely has done some major shifting. They know where they went wrong. If you're in a current relationship and you felt like there was just something that was out of balance, they're making adjustments. Now for you, I feel like you're getting out of your head. There was definitely a disappointment within the relationship. I just don't think you were happy. There's a need to be clear about how you feel. Like if you just need to come out and speak your truth, you need to. Because right now I don't feel like you think there's justice in the situation. So there's not balance. So you're gonna need to speak up. Three different scenarios. If this is somebody from the past, you may just have something to say and wanna get it off your chest because things were imbalanced, it didn't make you happy, you got tired of being in your head, then you're gonna cut it off. And this is just clarification for that. If you're in a current relationship, right now, this could just be where your energy is and you just need to speak your truth. Like what you want, what's gonna help keep things balanced. Because your person definitely is in a good place and they want you, right? Now, if this is somebody new in your life, they very much see you as the potential. Um, right now though, I feel like you're gonna need to be clear that you're not open to being in like a, a heavy duty um, committed relationship. So that's for those of you that are just into like light dating and wanting to work on yourself. All right, so with the Romance Angels, we'll see. <coughs> Sorry guys. What's going on for Sagittarius, please? So we have wedding. Like I said, this could move forward to that. Release your ex. That's for those of you who do not want the ex back very soon, worth waiting for. And then flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. So those of you who want to move forward, this absolutely could end up in marriage. I see your person sees the same thing. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. For those of you who this is the ex, it needs to go. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. If you don't want a full-on relationship and you just started to date someone, that's what that's talking about. Clearly decide what you want and it'll come to you. If you're completely single, I don't think you'd probably be wanting to watch this part. Maybe you are for entertainment. Something is definitely moving towards you. I feel like someone has an interest. Worth waiting for, divine timing is at work in your love life. This committed relationship, absolutely. That's something that I see moving forward. We'll get an outcome, but I definitely see that. Um, for those of you who are single, yeah, it's coming towards you, but you're gonna have to release the ex first. And the rest of you that wanna move forward into marriage, I definitely see that happening. All right, so we're gonna get a possible outcome. 
and I'll explain the different scenarios for the outcomes as well. This is for Sag. All right, so we have Seven of Swords in reverse, the Hierophant in reverse, the Four of Wands, there we go, Six of Pentacles, and then the Four of Cups. All right, so there's an energy of yes. Right now, there's very little being offered to the relationship, um, primarily because some of you have dealt with some really sneaky, you know what's in the past. Um, I don't see uh, a commitment yet, but it is moving towards that direction. Again, soulmate, twin flame energy. Things may be a little bit out of balance right now for all of you. Um, again, for singles, you could be moving towards a relationship and releasing energies of people that were toxic and lied and cheated in the past. And yes, there will be a stable relationship. For those of you who do want to get married, I see it happening once things balance out between you. Somebody needs to bring a little bit more to the table, and I think you know exactly who I'm talking about. All right, let's get the Lover's Oracle. This is for Sagittarius. Okay. This is the first card that came out. When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. And then we have... Beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so. The qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. Okay. So, last but not least, let's get some messages from Spirit. This is for Sagittarius. Okay. So, we have, to be fair, blessed clean it up, and chop wood. And then we have yin. So there's a need for a balance within the feminine and masculine energy. <clears throat> you could just be strongly in your feminine energy right now. They're showing me the king of wands in reverse, just meaning that you're working on you and feeling good about you again. And that, yeah, feels like a feminine energy. It doesn't mean masculines aren't. I'm just saying that's what we consider more feminine energy. To be fair, this is, reduces to an 11 again. This is finding that balance. If there is an imbalance right now, I do feel that you'll find it with you and that person. If you're just releasing an X, that's going to help balance out your energy. Blessed, yes you are. And I'm sure you feel this every day. I do strongly feel like you guys can come back to that. You're seeing, you've got to be seeing a lot of twos because twos are showing up a tremendous amount. Clean it up. Clearing your energy. Even if you're in a good place, it just means there's a little bit of dusting that needs to be done in your energy field. So that's a 21, which reduces to three. If you've been with me, you know I reduce uh, the numbers to threes and then say that's about mind, body, and spirit. It is very much. Chop wood. To me, this is very much about physical energy. So you may need to get out and get physical in order to release some of those things. Like when I say kick the dust off, it's like, get out there, exert some energy. You're going to feel better. You're going to feel more like yourself. All right, guys. And sixes are about balance as well. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope this helped. Thank you so much for being here with me. Thank you for all your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. Again, if you'd like a personal, that's in the description box. I love you guys to pieces. Have a beautiful week, and I'll see you in the next reading. Take care.